As I said, the Cambu County government is welcome to use the public purpose land at Tattoo City. They just have to pay for it. That is the law, and it is clear, as seen here in Section 107 of the Land Act. I believe Salome put it all in writing on the Cambu County government letterhead and copied it to the governor. This is an illegal demand for land from a private developer free of cost, as you can see, and we'll distribute this later, you can see what's written by Salome. The value of that land is 4.3 billion Kenyan shillings, about 33 million US dollars. Once again, I repeat that Tattoo City has set aside this land for public purpose use. We followed the law. If the county wants to develop on the public purpose land, it too has to follow the law, just like we did. For the largest foreign direct investors in Kenya, we won't acquiesce to extortion by two members of the Kiambu County government. Governor Wamatangi is abusing public office to thwart legal processes. He is a barrier to foreign direct investment in Kenya, and he is a destroyer of youth job creation in Kiambu County. Tattoo City estimates that Governor Wamatangi's extortionate delay has cost the county and country more than 16 billion Kenyan shillings. That's about 125 million US dollars. In additional investment in the country and county, and it has also cost 4,500 new jobs for young Kenyans. Today, we strongly, strongly condemn Salome Wanaina and Governor Wamatangi for attempting to extort foreign direct investors, international investors in Kenya, from New Zealand, the United States, the United Kingdom, and Norway. These individuals here have held up for more than a year and a half the approval of Tattoo City's new master plan. All the while, they try to seize 40 acres of land from Tattoo City, including land for Governor Wamatangi's residence. The value of the land they are trying to take from Tattoo City is 4.3 billion shillings. That's about 33 million US dollars. Up in 2023, the National Director of Physical Planning invited further comments on the amended master plan through a newspaper advertisement, which you can see right here. After a 60-day period without substantial feedback or any objection, the National Director of Physical Planning prior, prior to approving the new master plan for Tattoo City sought a letter of no objection from the Kiambu County government. This was done according to the provisions of the Physical and Land Use Planning Act 2019. This is also where Salome Wenaina and her boss, Governor Wamatangi, they sought to usurp the national authority and control the master plan approval themselves. And they used it as an opportunity to extort Tattoo City. The public purpose land is for that public purpose. Tattoo City adheres to Kenyan and international best practices in urban planning. The Tattoo City master plan has 103 acres of land set aside for public purpose use. The land is available for public amenities such as hospitals, schools, and police and fire stations. The Land Act of Kenya provides that if the government requires land for public purpose, then a compulsory acquisition process must follow, meaning that the land must first be acquired by the government through a process of just and equitable compensation to the landowner, in this case, Tattoo City. In short, if the government wants the land, if it needs the land, it has to buy it. By acquire, but acquiring the land at Tattoo City for equitable compensation to Tattoo City was of absolutely no interest to Salome and Wamatangi. They wanted the land for free, even a parcel for the government, governor's own house. Governor and Salome visited us at Tattoo City and they told us the same to our faces. Free land, free land, free land. There was a big, big focus, interestingly, on the land for the governor's own residence. In the meeting, the governor and Salome would not hear of the law's requirement for compensation. They didn't want to hear about it at all. They said that the Tattoo City master plan, which is key to investment in Tattoo City and in Kenya, would not be approved until they got their land. So I ask you, what does a politician and a bureaucrat, what is their best tactic 
to extort a business. Delay, delay, delay. We sought three additional meetings with the governor to put forth this clear legal requirement for Cambu County to acquire public purpose land at Tattoo City. They were scheduled meetings to which his office agreed, scheduled, communicated to us about, but the governor never turned up. This is how he treats the biggest foreign direct investor and job creator in Kiambu County. He doesn't turn up unless he gets free land. 